Hello, and thank you for coming to this video for today. Okay, basically what this video is going to show you is in the latest Creators Edition version of Windows 10, okay, um, how to stop all these unwanted apps constantly coming in. Just like, for example, you got over here, you got the Office, you got the Soda Pop, you know, Candy Crush Soda, whatever, Minecraft, and Asphalt, and constantly it kept getting updated okay every time we'd come over here would get more apps recently added and at some point it was turning out to be faster than us uninstalling them they were actually coming it was like magic mushrooms popping up anyways okay that out of the way um a few different ways our original technique, which we announced about a year back, was to basically go over here, okay, which is there, and then type in firewall, go to the advanced security version, and then go to inbound rules, find the store, okay, let's just get to the store and then block it. When it comes, it comes out of the box with the green thing, okay, with the tick block. So we just click block, do that, and then do the same for the outbound. You'll find two or three stores over here. There's the stores over there. We just did the same thing. Double click on it and click block connection. Okay. This worked in previous versions, okay. Then there was another system setting that you could do okay and i'm just going to bring up this notepad so because it's a little bit lengthy but all you need to do is just go into reg edit okay and it finds it right over there click on that it'll ask you to run it as administrator and now we need to find this location okay so h key local machine there we go just go there then it's software policies, so software, then policies, then it's Microsoft, then it's Windows. Okay, let's just make this bigger so we can all see where we're going. Okay, then it's Windows. And then if you don't have a cloud content, like over here, you create the key. Okay. So you just click on Windows, click New, Key, and then give it that name. Okay, now we click on this. There's nothing in there. What we need to do is add a D word with this name to it. So I'll just copy this, Control C, and then right click, New, D word, and then paste the name in. Make sure it's exactly as it is. And then give it a value of one. So double click it and it is. And then you would restart your computer and then that would also hopefully work. Unfortunately, okay, these two methods didn't quite get us all the way. Okay. We still kept getting these stores apps being pushed to our computer. Okay, with the firewall, if you click on the store, it's blocked, but things still kept coming. So, we played around with this a little bit. Okay, what's happened here? Okay, and then clicked on settings, and then apps. And now what we found was, over here, this little guy over here, this app installer, He's the one that seems to constantly want to keep sending us apps, okay? So uninstall him, okay? Once he's gone, life starts to get better. Then you start uninstalling whatever you don't like. Another thing we found is that because we blocked it from in the firewall, the store, by setting this, allow apps from the store only, then in combination with the firewall, 
and the setting and that app installer deleted, uninstalled, things settle down. And then you can happily go get rid of all of these things, turn off suggestions. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of the suggestions. And then you can basically unpin from start, unpin from start, start getting rid of things. If it's been installed, okay, you'd find a little uninstall button over here and just uninstall it. So, hopefully, this has now solved your problem for unwanted store apps coming to you. And let us know how it goes. So far, we've been using it on our Windows 10 systems, and so far, none of the apps have come back. Okay, so this is a video to show you how. Have a lovely day. Thank you.